Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Under heavy pressure. He's scrambling, and he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 20. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Red, two. Orange, three. Orange, three. They bring him down. And he can't escape again. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 51, Mike 51. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Go. That's a great tackle at the 26. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. And down he goes at the 38. Cincinnati's offense really centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film. And one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. 41's coming. That's a That makes it second and eight. throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Five wide. And he's going to come up with a sack. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Let's go! And he's level at the 17. That is just also three yards. That brings up second and 13. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. down right around the 14 yard line that's a loss of three yards on the play So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense.
He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. In a decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They go to the left for a nice game. Five yards there for the quarterback. That'll make it second and four. Tackles at the 43. And he's hit immediately. Wow, that was close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. That makes it first and 10. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, and it gives you more time to... Touchdown, Cincinnati! Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. And he hits the PAT. So that's a six-play, 52-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. Cincinnati kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bearcats have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point. But just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, I'd be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Number 40 with the tackle. yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24 yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of one. That brings up third and 12. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Green nine, green. He's gonna go for the home run. And he's got it, going the other way now. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. What? What happened? From the 40-yard line, first down. Cincinnati is up seven. That's what I do. He scrambled. And he can't get away from the pressure. to the 30. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. They'll bring him down around the 
23 yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. And that is just inexcusable. They come out on an empty backfield. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 18 yard line. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. That'll make it second and four. He's going to try and scramble. Tries to get around the corner. Dives, and he's down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. No one could break clear, so the QB decided to run it in. You've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands, especially down inside the tent. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. The Bearcats are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, we've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Tackle around the 26-yard line. And we've reached the end of one. 14-0 Cincinnati. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. situation here. It's third and one. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 49. Number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Go. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. Go forward. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're about four yards away here on third down. Quick throw, and he's got the tight end again. They bring him down in the backfield. A one-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. The 
kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He fights forward to about the 26. tailback on the screen. He steps out around the 35-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Four down, four down. Watch one, watch one. Mike And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. First down. Mike 41. Mike 41. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. No. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's hit and taken down. Man, left, Number 12 makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. That makes it third and three. Here he goes. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. This is the 10th play of this drive. Cincinnati's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive and the result, seven points. The score now, 21-3. Cincinnati ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. From their own 18 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at about the 23 yard line. That's good to have a good one. That makes it 33.
takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. The Bearcats over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me... He lost the ball. Recovered by the offense. looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. Cincinnati's up by 18. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both quarterbacks have had a lot of company, guys in opposite colored jerseys in their backfield, in their grills in the first half. And you're starting to see a little frustration from these quarterbacks. Yeah, that was uh, that was always one of the favorite parts about getting after a quarterback is they do get frustrated and they start looking at their offensive line with a puzzled look. And sometimes they even tell them that their breath stinks or something really unnice that you, uh, you, you can't say on TV or in this game. So, you know, it's, it's fun to get them rattled, to get them frustrated because you know it's going to pay dividends down the road. And especially when they turn to that offensive line, they're like, really, dude? You really can't protect me any better than that? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defenses change things up as they try to stop these guys. He's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. That makes it second and six. I got one, I got one, I got one. I'm coming. Ready. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Here we go, D, get off the field. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. He really got a hold of that one. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. Second down and five. Ball on the 41. And two. Zello, three. Yellow. He goes out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. his way out to about the 35. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. Complete brought down, down. nothing doing. Number 25 on the tackle at the 33 yard line. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and nine. can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. They try running left. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. From the 10 yard line. Second down. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Red two. Three. Easy. Easy. Square. Go. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's hit immediately. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Mike 51, Mike 51. Watch the slant. Red, two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Going to the run and a very physical play here by the defense. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Fourth and three. Kicks away, and it's Putsy uprights. Central Florida, kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Knights' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look in this game. Nice grab on the play. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. Number 41 Mike, Mike, makes the tackle Mike, at the 32-yard line. Mike, That'll bring up second and three. Mike, Mike. Up the middle for a nice game. With the tackle, gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Mike, 41. Easy, easy, easy. Ready. 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 Nice run up the middle. Makes the tackle. That's good for the game, seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Five! 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 Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game of four. First down. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Three, nice lucky! Team. Lucky! Three, nice motion, team. motion, motion! Bumps up! Ah. Quick throw. He's taken down at midfield. That's good for a game That brings up second and nine. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. 
Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. Cincinnati's up by 15. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. On play action. Once it all, going deep. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. And now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Throws it to the outside. And this one falls incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Third down, 14 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's under some heat. Deep pass to the end zone. Missed him. Number two was the intended receiver on the way. That'll make it fourth and 14. Mike 51, Mike 51. Check, 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 check. Dog four. Connect. Caught, but they'll come up short. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 17-yard line. Second down. Let's go. Flag. And they got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Team's got to give their kickers some time. And this one is a beauty. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That brings him second and five. Two, three, 
And he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of seven yards on the play. That brings us up. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Just under three to go in regulation. Heading for the corner. And they push him out at the 37. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Man left, man left. That makes it fourth and four. Mike 51, Mike 51. Green nine, green nine. Orange three. Go. The 25. That was a clutch play on fourth down. But they are still down a couple of scores, and it's going to take some work for this team to get back into this game. Black five, black five, versus three. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. It's the running back who picks it up. He's tackled at the 34 yard line. So the sack makes this a second and long. Yes, yes. Go down, go down. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Dog four. Easy, easy. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 20. Here's the eighth play of the series. Down at the 15. The catch. Call it a gain of five yards. The offense is going to stay on the field and try to convert another fourth down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Tenth play of the drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. is out to the tailback on the screen. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. This is the 11th play of this drive. And they got it. Touchdown. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two point conversion. It was an 11 play, 55 yard drive but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. They'll bring him down at the 42. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. Good pass rush by these guys today. This defense has got to keep the pressure on. They don't want to allow another score. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Gets out to around the 32. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Under a minute left in the game. Tackle at the positive yardage. 
The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. the stop at about the 31. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Cincinnati 21, Central Florida 12. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kurt and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.